Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's style of video, it's going to be a little bit different from what I normally do. So I went on Instagram and Snapchat and asked you guys to submit some questions for me. So the goal here is for you guys to get to know me a little bit better. I feel like I talk about hair a whole lot and I don't know, I just feel like there's some things that you guys just don't know about me and that I'm willing to share. Let's just jump right into these questions. I'm a little bit nervous because I did tell everyone to ask me anything. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so first before I start looking at any of these questions, I just wanna quickly like start off with the basics, the quick facts about me that you may or may not already know. So as you know, my name is Alyssa Marie. Marie is my middle name. Um, I am a Caribbean girl. So I am Jamaican by blood and Caymanian born and raised. I currently still reside in Grand Cayman, which is one of the three islands that make up the Cayman Islands. I am currently 23 as I'm recording this video, but in seven days I will be 24. So yes, that makes me a Libra. Shout out to all my Libras. Libras is honestly the best horoscope sign. Duh. I am 5'4", so I think that's average. People call me short, but I'm 5'4", okay? I'm not that short. And my favorite color is mint green. And then turquoise. I don't know, I just love greens and blues. So there you have it. But yeah, those are just a few super quick facts about me. So let's go ahead and jump on into these questions. I'm a little bit nervous. But here we go. Okay, so what have you always aspired to be? Um, gosh, this, this has changed for me in my life a bit. So ever since I could walk, I wanted to be a professional football player. And by football, I mean soccer, but it's football. That was my major dream, my goal, my aspiration, my meaning for life was football. Up until I was about 15 years old in boarding school, I went ahead and tore my ACL, which is a ligament in your knee that is the worst thing that you can do. Long story short, I ended up tearing the same ACL twice. I had two knee surgeries and after the second one, I kind of just said, you know what, this is not the life for me. I have lots of amazing memories playing football here, on the national team, going away and playing different countries. Thinking about it now, it feels like a lifetime ago. Now, I think my aspiration is just to be an inspiration to other women, especially since I've cut my hair and I'm going through the whole natural hair journey. I just, that's one of the things that drives me. That's one of the reasons why I ended up starting my YouTube channel. There's negative connotations towards social media, towards blogging and all of this. And I just want to be a representative of the positive aspect of it. You know, loving your natural self, and just uplifting other people. I know that sounds all corny and cheesy, but at the end of the day, to my core, like that is why I do this. So I would say that's my main aspiration. I also love Drake. He's my baby daddy. So I also aspire to one day be his wife. Okay, so a question here is, do you comb your curls? And if so, what comb do you use? So I do comb my hair, but I actually don't use a comb. I prefer to finger detangle. So the only time that I actually detangle my hair is wash day, which is once a week. And yeah, I just finger detangle with my deep treatment in there. The reason why I prefer to finger detangle is because one time I had tried out the whole Denman brush thing because everyone was doing it. So I wanted to try it and it absolutely just completely frizzed out my hair for a good few weeks. <laughs> so I prefer to finger detangle. I just find that that's what works best for my hair. It helps me avoid frizz, it gives me definition, and I find that using my fingers also helps to avoid breakage. What do you use to enhance your curls? This is a loaded question. What do I not use is the question. Okay, so by enhancing my curls, I'm guessing that you mean how do I get the best curl definition? And I would have to say curling custards and gels will be your best friend when it comes to getting that curl definition. Uh, so a few of my favorites are Curl Maker by Camille Rose. I mean, that thing. It works for all hair types and it just, it's, it gives you that definition, but it also leaves you with a bit of shine as well. So it's just, that's one of my favorites. One of my OG favorites. 
Um, I also really enjoy the Diva Curl Archangel Gel, which I actually have in my hair today. The Curl Magic by Uncle Funky's daughter is really, really good as well. So I'll use that during the week sometimes if I see my hair is getting a bit frizzy and I want to bring back a little bit of definition when I refresh my curls, then I'll use that. Okay, so this next question says, do you have to deal with hate comments? How do you deal with trolls on social media? So I have been blessed to not have had to deal with any hate comments so far. Um, so no, I haven't really had any trolls on social media as yet. Um, I'm sure that's gonna change because that's just the way life works. My advice for someone who is receiving hate comments or has any disgusting trolls on social media, my thing would be to absolutely and 100% dismiss them just completely ignore them. They are not worth your time. They are not worth your breath. They are not worth your emotion. Nada. I think hate comments are so unnecessary. And it really says more about the commenter than it does about the person they're trying to talk about. Uh, I knew this was gonna happen. So someone said, how's the love life? <laughs> It's nothing, it's zero. I am 100% single, AKA single AF. I'm just really taking the time to just enjoy my single life. No stress, just me and my dog. We happy over here. I got out of a long-term relationship right before I big chopped actually last year, December. And ever since then, I've just been enjoying life. Would you ever do a home decor video slash house tour? Girl. So I've been thinking about it and I have decided that I won't do that. Um, Cayman is very small and I don't think that it's safe for me to kind of show people my space. I would do a studio tour for sure. Once I'm finished setting up my studio and everything, like I will give you guys a tour on that for sure. But in terms of doing like an entire apartment tour, I just don't feel comfortable showing people my space, especially when you live on an island that is so very small. Would you ever enter a beauty pageant? Nah, I just don't consider myself a pageant girl. Nothing wrong with being a pageant girl at all. I don't mean that in any kind of way. I just feel like it's just not for me. But kudos to the women who do it. I think it's amazing what you do and going up on stage and having the courage to just do the whole process of a pageant is, my hats go off to you. Okay, so someone asked, what was your daily hair regimen when you had a TWA? Oh my God, does that mean my hair is so long and it's not a TWA anymore? Girl, yeah, I'll take it, I'll take it. So my daily hair regimen was super simple. Whenever I showered, I would wet my hair because it was so, so short. I don't know if you guys remember how short my hair was. When it was that short, it wasn't that defined. It was more fluffy than anything. So every day I would just wet it. I would wet it in the shower like 100%. And then when I got out, I would just put in some leave-in conditioner and a curl definer. So I use Camille Rose a lot. So I use their Curl Love Leave-In and then their Curl Maker Gel. And that's it. As it got long enough to finger coil, I would finger coil it almost every morning. But it was so short that that literally took like two seconds and then out the door. Some advice for someone who currently has a TWA girl, rock it. Because I wish that I could go back and just enjoy it all over again and use this time to sample thousands of different products because you pretty much have no hair. So them little cheap, little sometimes even free samples Girl, pick them up, pick all of them up and test it. Test your hair. Find out your go-to products while it's short so that when it's long, girl, you already pop in, you already know what is gonna work for your hair and you're good. Okay, so someone is asking, how do you moisturize your hair daily? Um, okay, so let me just tell you what my daily routine is. During the week, every morning what I do is I spray my hair with a DIY curl refresher, which is something that I make super easy. So I just got a spray bottle, like two, three dollars from the hair store, and I just fill it up with some water, squirt a little bit of a very lightweight conditioner in there, and then a few drops of castor oil, and that's it. So you just shake it all up. The water should look a little bit milky, and that's what I spray in my hair every morning. So that alone kind of provides moisture for my hair. And then I'll usually just go in with a leave-in conditioner. Again, I love the Camille Rose Curl Love for moisture, especially when refreshing my curls because it's not too heavy. Um, I also really love the Cantu Leave-In Conditioning Cream. It is 
boom it can be a little bit on the heavier side though so I find that I have to use a little bit of it um, so yeah that's how I keep my moisture throughout the week did you consider doing a texturizer to soften your hair once you cut off your damaged ends absolutely not I will never ever 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 in my life go back to texturizers relaxers probably not even flat irons so I really enjoy my curls now and I believe it's because they are so healthy now relaxers texturizers even blow dryers and flat irons are damaging when your hair is damaged that's when you'll find that you're a lot more frustrated with your hair and it's just not doing what you want it to do so I would never ever ever consider for myself or suggest to other people to use texturizers or relaxers to soften their curls. If you are unhappy with the texture of your hair, I would say to continue just trying different regimens, trying different products because it's not only different types of products that you can try, but it's like a different order of the products. So there's the lock method, there's the LCO method, there's, you know, there's different things that you can do to try and achieve something that works for you, you know, something that would make you feel happier with your hair. Don't give up and do not, do not go to the texturizers, do not go to the relaxers. What are your plans on marriage and kids? So thinking about marriage and kids for me right now is like a bit like, I don't know, I'm just not ready. Do I hope to have marriage and kids in the future? I think so. Um, it just all depends on, you know, finding the right person. Uh, but right now, I'm very content with being a dog mom. And so yeah. Who cut your hair in the style it's in now? So I actually did a whole entire video on this. This was my Diva Curl experience in San Francisco. Well, just outside of San Francisco. So it was a lady by the name of Monica. She owns the A&M hair studio just outside of San Francisco. I can't remember what the city's name is. But um, yeah, she was absolutely amazing. And she was specifically certified for more textured curls. Um, so yeah, I did a whole video on this. So if you're interested in watching that, then I will link it somewhere up here for you to check out. Ooh, this is a good one. What's a major hair growth tip? When it comes to growth, it's about genes. It's about your genetics and that's the major thing about it. Um, there are things that can stunt growth, so you wanna avoid those things. Um, but my major key, the thing that has kept my hair popping and flourishing is consistently deep conditioning every single week. If you're interested in hearing more about my top growth tips and like just delving a bit deeper into hair growth. I did a video on this one as well. So again, I will link up here if you want to check that out. Ooh, I like this one. Okay, what's your best advice for small content creators here on IG and YouTube? Girl, I got the tea. Advice number one, make a plan. So you kind of got to organize your thoughts and just organize yourself in general. So what kind of platform are you looking to create? What is it gonna be about and what is the purpose? And the purpose has gotta be something deeper than, mm, I wanna post pretty pictures and videos and that's it. So determine your purpose and then create a plan around that. So by a plan I mean, are you gonna start off on Instagram first and then branch out into YouTube after? Or are you just gonna start out on YouTube and put all of your focus and efforts into YouTube. Just come up with a plan that is more comfortable for you. I started out on Instagram first and then I transitioned my way into also doing YouTube. My second tip would be to get started. It's the easiest thing to convince yourself of reasons why you shouldn't. Um, but if it's something you're truly passionate about and something that you just, you just wanna do, get started that is the hardest thing to do i sat on it for about six months before i said you know what i'm gonna order my little two cheap lights and i'm just gonna record with what i have and go which brings me to my third tip which is to start small if you just have to wait for the sun to rise and film in front of a window and use sunlight as your lighting Girl, do it, because sunlight is free and you have to start somewhere. Not everyone has a good $500 to shell out for lights, mirrors, 
everything, microphone, camera, like you don't need all of that to be honest. Phones are even good enough nowadays to just start. Once people start to see you and once your purpose just resonates with other people, you will start to grow, you will start to make money, and then you can purchase the big lights, the big cameras, the big mics. But I think it's important to just really start small. YouTube is also not for everybody. I still struggle with it sometimes. So in starting small, you can really decide, you know, is this for me? Is this something that I would actually keep up with? Do I actually enjoy this? Do I actually want to do this? Um, so that way you don't start out spending off all this money and then realize, oh wait, I actually hate this. That's an interesting question and I love talking about this. I would love to share like a more in-depth version of how I got started and what I started out with. Um, so if you're interested in hearing about that, like how I started blogging, what I did to get started and everything, then just comment below and let me know if you want to see. If I get enough comments, then I'll go ahead and record that. Okay, someone else, who's my coworker, hey Sarah, asked, do you remember exactly when you fell in love with makeup and did anyone inspire that in you? Um, I think I actually fell in love with makeup while I was in college. If you don't live on an island, you wouldn't understand the whole island struggle. You can't go shopping, we don't have malls, we don't have Sephora here. So when I moved to Florida for four years to get my bachelor's degree, I loved going to the mall, loved going to Sephora. And because like I was not used to that, I think when I had it available to me is when I became obsessed with it just because it was available to me and I was like, oh my God. Um, I'm not sure if anyone really inspired me to get into makeup. Um, I guess I could say like some YouTubers I used to follow, like I used to watch Denise a lot, um, Jackie Ina I used to watch a lot as well. I think those girls kind of inspired me a little bit, but for the most part, I feel like I inspired myself. I just love to shop. I'm a product junkie guys and that's just who I am, that is me as a person, that part of me is what led me into just absolutely loving makeup. Alright guys, so that's it for this video, I think I'm going to cut it off here because I don't want to make it too like super long. Thanks for submitting all of your questions, I think this was fun. I really hope you enjoyed this different kind of video, if you enjoyed it go ahead and give me that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up with me and my natural hair journey and all of my craziness. Thanks so much for watching guys, I will catch you in my next video, bye!